Let me ask you why you getting your hands wrapped. How, how long have you been involved with the sport? Uh, I've been involved for three years. Yeah, but I started fighting about a year and a half ago. So. Really? What got you involved with the sport? Um, I just really, I really liked it. And I mean, I, I was not athletic at all. Like, I could not do any other sport. And then I started boxing. I ended up being really good at it, so, yeah. Wow. What was, the, what was your experience like the first time getting in the ring and, and you oh. got touched? It was a little scary because I got in the ring with somebody older. And it, I mean, you know, the first time you get hit, it's scary because you, you don't know what to expect. So, I mean, I was scared at first, but it's it was like a rush and I really enjoyed it. So Let me ask you while I got you, what's your goals for you uh, when it comes to this sport of boxing? Um, I just really want to help change women's boxing, you know. So most of the women who are in this sport, they just do it for bo like for the boxing. But I want to be able to go out and help other people. Like I want to use my boxing platform to help others and to like go through charity and help people, like help grow this sport. So interesting, interesting. So is the goal to stay more along? I, I guess my question is, you know, people choose the path of staying amateur uh, for a long time. Um, is your goal to be professional or stay on the amateur route? I want to go pro. Yeah, I um, I hope to go to the Olympics in 2024 in Paris, and then after that, I'd like to go pro. And oh. then we'll see where I can go with it. Now, have you had your first um, nationals and JOs yet? Uh, yes, I have been to three nationals. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was crazy. I mean, seeing all like how big it was, it was wonderful though. Like I loved going to them. Um, I've only, I've never won one, but I have gotten split decisions, and I'm ranked sixth in the nation right now, so. At what weight? Uh, 132. 132, oh wow, okay, yeah. that's what's up, man. Yeah. Now, is the goal to, to go to the Nationals in December also as well? Uh, yeah, I'd like to, yeah. I mean, I hope to just keep going and then eventually win, so, yeah. Oh, wow. But now, my ex, how old are you? I'm 17. Now, with your parents, right? You talked about the decision to go pro. Yes. Now, are they saying, hey, what about that college route? Actually, no. They are completely supportive with it, and they they love that I do it. I mean, my dad never went to college, and he's a very successful man, so he says that I don't really need to go to college to be successful. So That's a that's a good point that they're not putting the pressure on you like that. Yeah, it's very nice. I don't have to... I don't have to do any of that. They, they're they very proud of me just with this. And, and what gym do you uh, fight out of? Uh, I fight out of Sugar Ray Leonard's, but I also have my own gym, Phoenix Boxing. And so that's in our basement, actually, because there are no gyms up in Hagerstown. That's oh, where you I'm way from. Oh, Yeah, okay. I'm from Hagerstown, Maryland. There are no gyms up there. So we created our own, and that's Phoenix Boxing. Oh, that's what's up, man. Good luck on today. Thank you. All right.
out for Classic Highfield to get the victory today. It was really good. I usually fight at 119. I got the win at 132. What gym do you represent? Spokane Boxing. Where is that located? In South Philly. Oh, South Philly. Oh, let me ask you while I got you. How's that work up there in Philly? It's real good. Man, a lot of talented fighters come yeah. out of Philly, man. I heard, I mean, I heard you got to you got to learn how to fight soon. You come out the womb pretty much coming out of Philly, man. Everybody can fight in Philly. Yeah. And but congratulations really? on the victory today. Thank you.